Welcome to Durham, North Carolina and Duke Softball Stadium. It's the Campbell Fighting Camels on the road, making the short trip from Bowie's Creek, North Carolina, to take on the number three team in the country, the Duke Blue Devils. And we are so glad to have you in here with us tonight in your class, especially getting postseason experience. She hit 226 a year ago and offers it that one with a slow roller, a glove scoop on to first. And it's right to Tapia for out number one. And a swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back putaways to start the ball game. And a slow roller gets past right. Vega with the turn on to first. It's a 1-2-3 first inning for Jayla Wright. Kiana Jennings was a mainstay at the top of this lineup. This year, she's moved from the one to the nine, back to the one where I feel like she's most comfortable. Payoff pitch, a swing and a miss. And Smith starts off with a strikeout. And what is an eminently gorgeous and comfortable spring night here in Durham. And it's ball four, Davidson. Over to first. Here in the other dugout of a team that moves conferences where they won the league three years in a row. As that bunt is secured by Gillespie over at third. Her throw to first is not in time, so two down. But finding motivation wherever it might lie. Seeing the ball really well. Chopper right back to the circle, and Smith takes care of business. Camel three transfers coming in. That veteran presence for Coach Prater has been huge to kind of solidify the culture that they want. Liner 1-1. One, one. Vega right there to retire McDilda. Four up and four down for Jim Kelly Torres. A bit of a reprieve from the roll behind the plate with back-to-back -back games, and that's off the left leg of Gillespie. So she's the first base runner of the night for Campbell. That bunt is fair, and Freelick, her throw to first is not in time. Parker beats it out, and it's runners at first and second. A flash of lightning up the first baseline. The women together, all their personalities. One, two is easily playable for Vega. That's out number two. And you got to find ways for teams to mesh, and every team has a brand new personality. Then you add an. Big pitch, and it's up and away even after she calls time. So it doesn't offer Sweeney the opportunity to take a hack, which is where Wright has really succeeded this year. Ace is loaded and two out. And a ground ball, shortstop, Baker boots it. One run is in. Gillespie scores, and on the back end of the play, Parker is in as well, and it's 2-0 Camels. Jayla Wright does her job by inducing the ground ball. Rodriguez dribbles it out to Baker, but it's Tyra Parker, the base runner from second base, that sort of shields the ball from Baker. And the Campbell Camels taking advantage early, scoring two. And that's what we kind of expected from this team, Mike. They're not going to hit the long ball. They're not going to hit the balls out of the park, but they will find. So two runs in on the error by Baker at short. And that is a seeing eye base hit up the middle for Hanault. Three nothing Campbell against the number three team in the country. When Alyssa Hanault goes, the rest of this offense goes. This time sits on a drop ball on the outside edge and finds a barrel up the middle. Sweeney scores. Wave and a miss, ball in the dirt, and Freelich completes the strikeout to end the inning. Eight batters come to the plate, three of them score. Circled in the lineup was on a gold. You know, now you've added in a fly ball out to left field, and on the run, it's Parker who comes over. It looked like Montgomery was going to make that play from center, and she seeded the ground to her outfield mate. Before this game, about that number one ranking. First pitch swinging, Burgess center field, and there are two away. 
You know, that number one ranking is unchartered territory. Floor, but man, Nigel Kennedy just came in and, and pitched gems, fodder as well. And it just stunted the momentum of this Duke team and really the Duke program at that point. Another one, two, down and in. Oh, it's Danger off of first base. Freelick lost her footing. And they've got her in a rundown now. And over at first, Savannah White, the catcher. Great awareness to get up the line, beat Freelick to the bag. They wouldn't, they wouldn't reveal the whole guest list, though, so. <laughs> One day they're just going to ask, who's got their camera off there? And it's going to be you. <laughs> <laughs> but it might have been the cha-cha the slide. But the grass out in front of their dugout got a workout before the game. Gold charges, throws. And it's kept in the glove. Tapia with the pick over there at first. Eighth time that these two teams have squared off. Duke won both matchups last year, six and one all time, as the series favors the Blue Devils. Wright's got her fourth strikeout, another one, two, three inning. Defensively, Cassidy Curd in the circle. Chopper to third, and Gillespie gets it across the diamond. Baker one away. But offensively, it was Deanna Jennings, Amina Vega. They were freshmen, so you kind of That's the only time I've ever had stitches, my pinky. Cut it open. Don't recommend. Couple of hops, McLean, and she quickly gets it on to Lumsden. They're going to attack the drop ball. They have to attack that pitch. Right now, they're sort of sitting in limbo. And three ground balls, three outs. Three innings in the books and three on the board as Campbell looks for a win against Duke. Jayla Wright regained her balance in the third with three straight outs. And that's a difficult throw for Vega. It gets away from Tapia. And Parker is safe for the second time tonight. Corners are in against Savannah White. And the ball off of Freelich's glove. Forget about the stolen base. It's a free bag for Parker to get into scoring position the right moment and in that moment she felt this move was the right one so a swing on 2-2 two -two. nevertheless it's an advance of Parker over to third and White eventually after an adventurous at bat is still just one out so a fly ball could do quite a job here grounded a short Baker throws home and the tag they get the out Parker trying to score so Sweeney safe at first but most importantly the run prevented yeah, really nice job by Jayla Wright to throw the drop ball down and away, and Baker to attack that ball, gain ground, and then, like you said, Mike, not blocking that plate, giving the runner the leading edge to home. Really nice job by Kelly Torres to take that ball, put the... And she is out, ball hit her as she came out of the box, and the inning is over through three innings and faced just one batter over the maximum. That was a walk to Davidson in the first, and she walks Davidson again here in the fourth. And you never want to give up that first. This is going to be a huge test and sort of a measure marker for Isabella Smith. Liner to second, caught by Hanault. Doesn't have a play over at first, but good contact there from Vega right into Hanault's glove. And offensively, and she strokes one into left field, down for Duke's first base hit of the night. To set up on a gold with runners at first and second. Found those pitches, foul them off, and then you want to expand the zone and get on a gold to chase. And gold does just that on a ball in the dirt, strike three. Ball gets loose, runners take off, and everybody advances. Davidson to third and Torres to second. On the ground, they anticipated it and they stole the bag. And a routine play, Parker left field, inning over. So the Blue Devils break up the no-hit bid for Isabella Smith, but they remain scoreless and will go to the fifth here in Durham. And her break even, diving stop Vega from a knee. Out number one. Right 
That's bloop foul, long run, and it's Vega again. I believe it was the other day in a game, I forget who the Mets were playing. They were playing somebody, chopper up third like that, and the umpire standing behind the bag. Hard hit down the line. Burgess gives chase, keeps her body in front of it, and what a job there. It wasn't played perfectly by any means, but off the bat, you could certainly understand if Lumsden was thinking two, and she's held to a single. Lumsden on the move from first, and she does it again. Gets the strikeout. Off the end of the bat, and Hanault retires freely. This would be the type of game where if you simply looked at the line score, you would have no idea how much transpired underneath. If you can get Torres out. It's past Gillespie. Strong throw from McLean is off target. And it takes a Duke bounce. High in the air, Baker, too bad. Baker committed one earlier. She's the beneficiary of one here. And McLean gets redemption by recording the second out of the inning. So it does go down as a single for Jada Baker, plus the advance on the throwing error by. Up and away, and then a foot low and in. And that pitch upstairs gets a swing and a miss, and a fired up Isabella Smith. Her third strikeout of the night, and she strands the fourth Duke base runner. Pen amongst some of the best arms in the country. It's a strikeout between the wickets on Torres, and Gillespie gets first base. So early in six years. And that is a fair ball. Torres sheds the mask, her throw to first, in time to get Parker with blazing speed. Only Oklahoma, Florida State, and Louisville have felled the Blue Devils this year. Oh, that is a beautiful offering. High ball, right center field. Jennings gives way to Davidson, and the inning is over. Couple of strikeouts for right. Seven on the night. Davidson, Vega, Torres, big bats on the way. With a Out that two strikes in the count, so just shows the movement that Smith has up and through the zone. One, two, a flare to short. And there really wasn't much to do with that pitch. To do to be successful against elite teams. Montgomery for the second out. For her 88th pitch of the night to be the final one of the bottom of the sixth. Try and make it a one, two, three frame. Second time on the payoff pitch, and it is outside ball four. That's in the dirt, ball four. So Duke for the second time. Two on, two out. 100th pitch of the night for Smith into left field. Diving try, Parker missed it. It gets to the warning track. Torres scores. Gold is run number two. And Burgess comes through here in the sixth. It's a ball game in Durham. 3-2. And the Blue Devils not done in the frame. And the freshman finds a way. Amaya Burgess takes this pitch off the end of the bat and finds a spot out in left. Tyra Parker with the dive and the miss. Montgomery backs her up, but it opens the opportunity for Torres to score, goal to score, and Duke threatening with the third run in scoring position. Amaya Burgess. Do. She's been a strike away, four batters in a row. And the 2-2, a swing and a miss. Ball is loose, throw it to first, inning over. Well, it's a silent night no longer for the Blue Devils. Two hops, easy work for Vega. And Mike, an interesting Part of this matchup, too, is if Campbell. The NCAA does find a way to give you those repeat matchups in regionals.
Torres on to first. Pressure is on for the number three team in the country. 3-2, Kim. For the redshirt junior. Into center field, falling fast. Great play, Montgomery to lay out and get the first out in the bottom of the seventh. Two-two, high in the air, playable. Sweeney, and the Blue Devils are down to their final out of the night. Claire Davidson presents you go at Jennings here. It's on the ground to short. McLean is up with it. Her throw to first is not in time. And not particularly close either. Jen Leading run on base, but understanding how powerful Davidson is. The 2-0 in the air right field. Sweeney comes in, and the Campbell Camels have their first win over a top 10 team ever. 3-2 this Wednesday night against Duke in Durham. On both sides of the ball, the Camel Campbells came to play. Isabella Smith pitching an absolute gym in the circle. Defensively, they played solid all game long. And offensively, they took advantage of mistakes when they came. What a win for this Campbell program. Head coach Trina Prater. And watch out, CAA, the Campbells are coming. Campbell got three runs in the second. That was enough, despite two from Duke in the sixth and a late rally.